Maxwell, the Kohima Bar Association, has made a big allegation against police in the state capital. In a statement, the Kohima Bar Association alleged a growing illicit nexus between police and advocates in the state, which it claimed was affecting criminal justice system and violating the personal liberty of accused. The association highlighted that Article 22 of the Indian Constitution allows an accused to engage an advocate of his or her choice. Significantly, the Kohima Bar Association alleged that some police and jail officials are compelling the accused or their relatives to engage a particular advocate for bail and even take a percentage of the fees collected. The statement said that in many cases, when an accused is arrested in the first instance and brought to the police station or jail, the concerned police or jail officials compel the accused or his or her relatives to engage a particular advocate for bail. Legal documents authorizing an advocate to represent a litigant of phone numbers of hand-picked advocates are kept at police stations and jails, the Kohima Bar Association alleged. So big story we are tracking from Nagaland this evening viewers. So the Kohima Bar Association has made a big allegation against police in the state capital. So in a statement, the Kohima Bar Association alleged a growing illicit nexus between police and advocates in the state, which it claimed was affecting criminal justice system and violating the personal liberty of accused. The association highlighted that Article 22 of the Indian Constitution allows an accused to engage an advocate of his or her choice. Significantly, the Kohima Bar Association alleged that some police and jail officials are compelling the accused or their relatives to engage a particular advocate for bail and even take a percentage of the fees collected. The statement said that in many cases, when an accused is arrested in the first instance and brought to the police station or jail, the concerned police or jail officials compel the accused or his or her relatives to engage a particular advocate for bail. Legal documents authorizing an advocate to represent a litigant or phone numbers of handpicked advocates are kept at police stations and jails, the Kohima Bar Association alleged. All right, now let's listen in to this telephonic conversation with the president of the Kohima Bar Association. Uh, Mr. President, sir, the Kohima Bar Association have issued a statement today alleging of an illicit nexus between the police and advocates, uh, where the police and the jail officials uh, are often com uh, often compel the accused or their relatives to engage a particular advocate for bail, uh, sharing a percentage of the fee collected. Could you share more uh, details on these developments? No, we cannot go in detail at this uh, stage. Because see, if we go by the particular cases, if we go by the uh, case-wise, that uh, may be, uh, be amounting to interfering into the investigating uh, investigations uh, done by the police, which may not be the interest of the uh, for delivering justice. Right. So we cannot go into detail of it. Hmm. So when did the association came to know about this matter and also when was the FIR lodged? This is not uh, uh, in one particular case. Okay. But uh, see, we are referring to the uh, general practices that is going on. Right. Uh, not only in one the particular court, but uh, see, it's happening. That is how, and see, instances where we have come across issues for that reason, uh, we have come up with a brief statement to give uh, public awareness. Right. And also, that uh, see that uh, in order to check uh, such a malpractices in our practice. So, uh, has the association lodged an FIR with regard to this? No, so far no FIR has been lodged because, see, this is the first step that we have taken. Okay. So, awareness will be given to the public uh, uh, general public. Okay. Besides that, uh, see, as we have mentioned, that any person who has uh, found uh, or go against uh, or have uh, misconduct or malpractices in the conduct, right? Definitely, the the association will initiate any uh, steps to even to the extent of uh, cancelling their licenses. But that cannot be done at the level of the associations. 
it will be taken at the level of the state bar council. Right. Yes. So, so uh, apart from the public awareness, uh, if such matters come to light again, the association will take it up to the higher body. Is that what you're saying? Definitely. Definitely. Thank <laughs> you.